Hi everybody, if you hear the dishwasher, sorry, working kitchen. And so anyway, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and uh, if you're brand new here, I'm so glad to see you and I hope if you see anything you like, you'll continue, continue to come back and maybe make comments. I do love to chat. So today, oh and if you're not new, welcome back friends. <laughs> I almost forgot my friends. So uh, today I'm making um, a cupcakes and it's not a recipe I've ever made before. It takes cut cupcakes, pudding, eggs, sour cream, oil. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you these is, and this will be our little secret <laughs> from the kids, uh, three eggs equal one chicken egg. And so it's going to take a dozen quail eggs for me to have the four eggs that this recipe will take. And I'll show you more in a few minutes. I uh, realize that maybe some people don't know, you know, how you crack a uh, quail egg, and so you use these special scissors to do it because the shell on a quail egg is very, very tough. It's not like a chicken egg. The membrane around the inside is super tough, and I think it's because they're just harder on their eggs. They just kind of kick them around. They don't, you know, like mother them. On, not that I've seen anyway. So anyway, um, Dawn from John's Country Kitchen. Oh, why do I always do this? I mess up people's names and channel names. Anyway, I'm in my pajamas, sorry. Um, she sent me these, and I wanna show you how. So you just put this, see the circle? You put the tip in the circle, and this part right here has a sharp edge, and it lops off the top, and I think you can see that. Nope, there. So we go like this, and it just lops off the top. Now you've got a hole in your egg. It doesn't knock the shell in, because they're not real brittle like a chicken egg. And I just drop it in there, and now I've got another egg in an empty egg shell. I should wash these off and use them for decoration, you know, at Easter, because they're just the most beautiful thing. And I've seen these stuck to um, Easter wreaths, door wreaths, not real ones probably, but ones that look like this, and I always think, oh, how pretty. So there's a thought. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> all done. I've got 12 quail eggs, three equal one chicken, so I need four eggs for this, you know, recipe. All right, let me just run down the recipe here. So these are Best Cupcakes by C. Mindy Mom, and that she has a face, I don't know if she has a Facebook page. She has a YouTube uh, channel. So you can mix and match any flavors of cake mix and small pudding box. 3.4, I think she said it was. Yes. Anyway, uh, so I chose lemon just because that's what I had and needed to get used. Okay? So one box of cake mix, dry. One box of pudding, dry. Four eggs, which you know I just put quail eggs in there, so I'm going to put those away. One cup of oil. I used canola oil, one cup of sour cream, here that is, I used full fat sour cream, so that's an eight ounce container, uh, one half cup, and I used whole milk, and you mix it all up and you put it in your cupcake things. I sprayed my cupcake liners with Pam, and I got out some little pretty things to put on the top. These are just straight up candy, they're cake decorations, you know, I've had them for a while now and I thought I better use them. And my oven has already preheated. You bake and you mix according to cake directions. Just everything is then gonna go in my bowl. I'm gonna mix it and put it in my cake, cupcake liners. These are all ready to go now, these ingredients. I mixed it for two minutes per the Pillsbury Moist Supreme Lemon directions. So now I'm going to take one of these cookie baller things, this is my big one, I don't know if it'll work, and fill each one of these cupcakes. And I've only got 12 made out, I may have to do, sometimes a cake mix will make 18 instead of, they used to make 24, I'm convinced it's smaller than it used to be. It says it makes 24 cupcakes, but it also says to fill each cake thing half full, and I don't usually. All right, these are ready to go in, and I did make more. <laughs> so these would be the ugly ones. They're the ones that 
kind of spread it out. Spread it is spread out because I didn't have the will to get out another cupcake sheet. Actually, I don't know where I put it. It's in the kitchen somewhere. Cupcakes say 19 to 28, I think it said. Yeah, 19 to 23 min um, minutes. So in they go. And I set my oven to 350. Got my timer set to 19 minutes. Check it then. That pro probably that glass pie plate's gonna have to be scrubbed thoroughly because I bet they rise and fall over the sides, but it is what it is. It'll be fine. Here we go. So if you want to check out her recipe, it is from her channel, See Mindy Mom on YouTube. And it was from this, it was 11 days ago. I thought it was new. <laughs> Move along, nothing to see here. Does anybody else have a husband who will eat the ugly ones? A husband or a partner or whatever. If they won't eat the ugly ones, are they ever really fulfilling their jobs description? I don't think they are. <laughs> Anyway, these are good even though they're ugly because they didn't go in a cupcake liner. These are perfect. They're done in the middle. Put a toothpick in. Came out clean. I was worried because it's a very dense batter. Do not beat this thing two minutes. You don't need to. The more you beat it, the thicker it becomes. She says in her video just to beat it till it's mixed. So <laughs> there you have that. Um, I don't follow directions well. Here they are with some cream cheese frosting. Let me show you the container of the frosting. I wasn't a fan. I don't, it's, I don't think you're getting as much as you think you are. And so now put the sprinkles on so it looks like, a, you know, the ground. It's an autumn day. See the leaves? See the, the brown leaves and the green leaves and the orange leaves? So here it says whipped cream cheese frosting. Easy to use. And it's Duncan Hines, 15% more. But it's literally air bubbles. It's just lots and lots of air, and it looks funny. It looks weak, like, I don't like the color, the consistency, anything about it. It tastes okay, I guess. Here's some under light. It's just lots and lots of air holes, like a sourdough, you know, um, sourdough bread when it's rising. It's got that look to it. And it also looks the color like they used very very thin milk if milk at all to make this just my opinion i'm just not a fan of this duncan hines whipped cream cheese yeah it's easy to spread it's really really thin and they're done and so if you liked what you saw and you saw what you liked i hope you consider again subscribing there's a step in the right hand corner a bell icon if you tap on that and i put up a new video you'd be notified and i would love to get to know you make a comment say howdy Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful evening.